Hi guys, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and this is Olivia, and there are some questions that a number of people have uh, called in about or asked our YouTube channel, and I thought we would try to answer some of these questions because they probably are questions that a lot of you might want to know the answer to. So. Why don't we start tackling those right now? What have we got, Olivia? Okay, so the first question is, does pinhole strengthen the teeth? Isn't it the bone density that causes the tooth to be more stable? Pinhole technique uh, is meant to thicken the gum tissue, to thicken the gum tissue so it will not recede further. So the thickening of the gum tissue does tend to stabilize the teeth somewhat. Yes, more bone would stabilize it even more, but the thicker gum tissue does does tend to increase the stabilization somewhat. But more importantly, we want to stop that gum recession because when the gum recedes, the bone recedes with it. And if you continue to lose bone, your teeth are going to get looser and looser and looser to the point where they can be lost. So some stabilization uh, tends to occur with thicker gum tissue, but primarily we need to stop further loss, and that's the main goal of the pinhole technique, to get some thick, healthy tissue, which will help to slow down or stop the deterioration and loss of bone, which then could make the teeth so loose that they can you know, just have to be extracted. And also to try to cover the roots also so uh, there may be less sensitivity and cosmetically it may appear uh, somewhat better also. But the main goal is we've got to stop the damage that's going on. And by getting thicker healthy gum tissue, we, we, can, we can do that. Um, so the next one has to do with pinhole. How much does it cost for the pinhole surgery and does dental insurance cover it? Um, pinhole surgery varies from office to office. Depending on how many teeth are done in our office, it can range anywhere from five to twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Generally, some insurances will cover it, but most insurances are limited. They're limited to a thousand dollars, or fifteen hundred dollars, or two thousand dollars, and in almost all cases, uh, they don't cover the total cost of it. That would be very unusual. Uh, there are exceptions, but that's rare. And some ca some insurances don't cover it at all if they consider it cosmetic. So it depends on the insurance company and it varies from patient to patient as far as whether they'll get coverage or not. And depending on how many teeth and what the severity is, that also will determine what uh, the cost, at least in our office is. It says, can I leave, can I have gum recession untreated if it doesn't hurt? The law says no. <laughs> of course you can leave it. It's your mouth if it doesn't hurt, but that doesn't mean the teeth aren't getting weaker. That doesn't mean the teeth are getting, aren't getting looser. They probably are. It's not, a, it's not the pain. I have patients, I had a patient in today, for instance. She has recession throughout her mouth, but she's not having pain, but her teeth are getting loose and she can see the recession. So pain is not a, a, an indication to have recession treated. An indication to have recession treated is recession because when the gum recedes, the bone recedes. You may or may not have pain. Frequently there is no pain. But if the bone is receding, the teeth, is lo the teeth are losing support and over time it can be a danger. So it's not a matter of whether they hurt or not. It's a matter of whether you're continuing to lose bone and gum, which usually does tend to progress slowly as, you know, during one's lifetime, at least as long as those teeth are in. Dr. Nemeth, do you treat pinhole or recession from the tongue side, the lingual side? So, okay, here's the deal. I had a patient yesterday. She came in, and she came in specifically because there was a recession on the back of her lower front teeth. First question was, did you ever wear a tongue ring? Well, she said, yeah, but only for a couple of years. Well, 
many patients who have recession behind their front teeth have worn tongue rings and the tongue ring it, it tends to bang against the back of those lower front teeth and tends to weaken the teeth makes them looser and tends to cause recession we can treat that and we do but it's much more difficult to treat than the gum recession on the outer surfaces because that tissue simply is not movable in the same way that the tissue on the outside of the teeth is. So we will treat it and we will get thicker tissue, but we will have more trouble getting root coverage on the backside than we do on the outside. But it's something that if it's severe should not be neglected. And don't wear a tongue ring because it's only one of it's it, it contributes to the problem and many of the cases I've seen have been because of tongue rings okay, okay guys uh, what do I always say about uh, a healthier mouth you remember a healthy mouth healthy body not necessarily no healthy mouth healthier body, healthier body. <laughs> we can't guarantee your body will be completely healthy <laughs> if your mouth is but we can guarantee that your body will be healthier if your mouth is healthy so take care of yourself comments questions we love to hear from you I love doing this stuff and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and you know there's a bell that can notify you I guess uh, if you hit that uh, you'll be notified when we have a new YouTube video and we'll try to keep you up to date on everything that we possibly can and with that we both wish you a happy and healthy and great day so take care restore your smile and your health visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today